Morning. What day is it today? Yeah. Kisses. Today is my birthday. Ah. Welcome to the birthday vlog. Once again, she's ended up in our bed, even though she's not supposed to be here. But it's been that kind of week, and we've had no sleep, so... Happy birthday, me, huh? Just like every day, we need to start with a good old cup of tea. In this case, it's a birthday cup of tea. Coffee is way too intense in the morning. Thank you. <laughs> okay, we just opened presents on the bed. Also, I got lots of chocolate because I love trying new chocolate and eating chocolate because chocolate is yummy. Some bath salts, love me a good man bath on a weekend. Deodorant stick. Hate wearing deodorant because it just smells so strong and just it feels a bit fake. So, <laughs> nudie jeans. These are 100% organic, ethical. That's why I got this jumper from Patagonia. Fun facts for you. This crew neck is made from 10.8 plastic bottles. Again, another responsibly sourced item of clothing. We're trying to get into that because for many reasons, but we're starting a company that is like anti-slavery. We'll more on that in probably the next video I make. Stay tuned. So today is Joseph's birthday um, and we're here celebrating Joseph. So I wanted to say a few words about um, <laughs> yeah. who he is, you know, words of affirmation morning. Joseph is a go-getter. Joseph is a incredible dad. Um, Joseph is kind. He is very affectionate. Joseph loves me very much. Joseph loves Jesus very much, and Joseph loves Hepzibah very much. He makes me feel like a million dollar bill, yo! You keep those words coming all day, you know what I'm saying? He's an amazing encourager, and anyone who meets Joseph leaves feeling just so encouraged and pumped for life, so... That's why I live my life with him, y'all. <laughs> Patella is a very special treat for us. We're off. So next on the agenda is we're going to be heading into town to let Happy just have a little sleep on the way and to pick up some extra bits for the food we're going to make. Basically my whole birthday just kind of revolves around food and eating. And food <laughs> Approaching our favourite spot in town, which is Sussex Produce. Welcome to the Guide to Stenning. When I was young, it was very easy to walk into town, but now that I'm old, I'm finding it quite tiring. Although it might just be because I had about 62 pancakes for breakfast and oh. lots of sugar. Ready? Right, I've got my shopping list of everything I'm going to need to make my dream. Birthday dish. Can I have them? Of course. An orange and some lime. <laughs> That's it. Birthday shop done. Not cheap, but beautiful. And Happy is now asleep, so that is great news. So Megan popped into the post office around the corner, so we're hiding down this little street and she's gonna walk past us I think. You're probably thinking wow this guy is wild can't believe it but you know gotta keep the marriage spicy you know what I'm saying bit of throwing some surprises in. Eh? She's gone so far ahead I think. I think she's running to try and keep up with me. She's there, she's there. Ah, she's seen us. Who's seen her? Tell us how spicy and uh, creative your marriage is. Oh, so... Yeah, just keeping things alive. 
He's alive, surprisingly. Oh, oh I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> you didn't even like <laughs> pop out though. You were just like... Well, it's because you were on an absolute mission, just running so fast. Yeah, so like, why did you wait for me? <laughs> How are you feeling about your birthday so far? Feeling pretty good. I've done most of the things that I want to do already. You know, it's like 10 30, yeah? <laughs> wow, it's 10 28, and all the ideas I've had. This is what when you have a baby, you don't realize. Like, That's so fun, baby. Get up so early, and now, yeah, I've got so much more of the day to play with. What should we do? Wow, we just played it! We're home. The fun continues. Oh, good stroking. Very nice. You are not going to believe this. I'm wearing my brand new jeans, and Heppy just weed the seat out of her nappy, and now my new jeans are soaking wet. I still love you. I still love you. So babe, what are some of your um, hopes and dreams for your 20 year? Actually, in this video, I'm not going to tell people how old um, I am. Why well, I just did. Um, yeah, but I'm going to beep it out so that they don't know <laughs> that I'm actually 20. They'll never know that I'm 20. At the age that I am at, other people at a similar age might be thinking more about stability and careers and mortgages and things like this that don't excite me one single bit and although I've never really gone after those things that I see other people my age going after I have um, zero regrets um, because we've just had an amazing exciting few years where we've seen God do some amazing things and miracles and adventures and things like that right boo bears Daddy now needs to uh, prep his next birthday present, which is a massive shoulder of lamb. Let me show you what I'm working on. So I've been leaving this bad boy to just marinate overnight and it's looking amazing. It's got pulled pork seasoning and paprika. Here's some wine. I don't actually drink alcohol, but I cook with it. it tastes good and all the alcohol gets burnt off in the process. This, here are the things we bought from the shop today. Here's a load of stock. Cover this. Look what just arrived. Boobes. Megan's popped out, but I think I'm gonna open them anyway. Feels like it could be shoes, which is very exciting because that will um, just complete my new outfit. Uh-oh. Dang, son. These are my new Nike Fear of God. They're pretty sexy. Oh, uh, here they are. As you can see, I've um, even though I've got a year older, I've actually gone back to the elastic slash toggle. We've been learning a lot about self-care this month and treating ourselves and looking after ourselves. We've actually had a few months where we've been so focused on the baby. We haven't bought ourselves any new clothes or gone out for any meals or anything like that. So we decided that actually this birthday, yeah, we're gonna actually buy things and actually treat ourselves right and do some things that we really love to do that we haven't done in a long time. So that's kind of what we're doing this month. And Hepsibar is currently playing me a birthday song. You gonna sing as well? You can probably see by now where I'm going with this video and that is to remind you guys to do something that you love and to treat yourself right and to just love yourself and get a bit of self care in. Yeah, I think it's just- You are so beautiful. It's important to know that um... Yeah, you need to take care of yourselves. I'm learning so much about that right now. We're getting to know who we are as God's children, delighting in ourselves and who he's made us to be. Um, and just saying, yep, I know that I'm worthy of this. It often feels this tension of like, am I actually allowed to do these things? Am I actually allowed to go and get my nails done? Am I actually allowed to go and sit in a bath for an hour? Yes, you are. And yeah, you are. Find out what that is for you and go and do it. You are so wise. That's a great word, eh? Mm. Amen, Pastor Megan. Also, I guess another part of that self-care thing is that Monday Fire will just kind of take a little break from that while I work out what I'm gonna do with it and not put any kind of pressure on myself, just release a couple of random fun videos on just what we're up to. But yeah, like and subscribe and you are amazing and wonderful and you deserve to be treated well. Oh, that's cute. Bye. <laughs> Dream, 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 dream.